Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another beautiful Sketchbook Sundays. Oh my God, you guys. Yo, so we about to get into it. I hope you guys have your sketchbooks ready. You're ready for these chill vibes. Danielle here from Creative Girl of Color. And I have a special guest that's joining me today for our Sketchbook Sundays. So let's get into it, shall we? Hey, so you never guess who joined me today, my beautiful friend and our illustrious moderator for the Creative Girl crew and our group on Facebook, Vanessa. Vanessa is in the house. Yes, Andy. <laughs> we all split in two right now. Yes. So, <laughs> oh man. Hello. Welcome. Hello. Happy Saturday. Happy oh, Sunday. Happy Sunday. <laughs> Yo, I'm losing track of time. It's like, sis, are we losing track of time? What's really going on? So as you can see, we already have our sketchbooks kind of displayed and all the things here. Um, so we're pretty much going to get into it. It's going to be loads of fun. Lots of lots going on. Okay. Um. So today, let, let's actually run on over. Go ahead and introduce yourself first, V, before we even get into anything. Um, hi, my name is Vanessa, and I'm owner of House of Harrison LLC, um, where art meets food and other cool things. Um, and I have the pleasure of being your moderator and being Danielle's sidekick. And being oh my god, I don't think that Sunday today, which I don't get to do <laughs> often, so I'm really really excited to be here today. Yay, not Batman and Robin, <laughs> yeah, I went there, whatever, it's fine, it's not fine. Batman and Robin, fine. Oh my god, <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. So, what's what else has been going on? Catch me up. I want to know. How you guys' weekend has been? What's been up? I hope you guys are being safe out there and happy and all the things. I'm going to direct you down to my workstation now. We're going to get set on up. Blah, black owl. Here we go. Okay. That's what we have going on here. Started at the bottom. Now we're here. Okay. Hey. <laughs> Um, I'll probably play a little music later on in our session, but today, you guys, we're going to be pretty much, I'm doing, and I, I have the reference photo, if you want the direct reference photo, it is available in our community over on Discord, we just started with the Discord activities, okay, so this is pretty much what we're going to be painting today, you can actually print it out from the Discord, download it, screenshot it, print it out, send a pigeon, all the things okay and then i also have it popped up a little bit in the in the corner of my video which might be a little hard to see but it's there okay you guys yes indeed it is definitely there um so v catch me up how's your week been what's been going on um uh damn <laughs> <laughs> Brain freeze. Uh, a lot has been going on. I started a new line of t-shirts. You already know that, but to our public, um, I started a new line of t-shirts where you pay I paint them and I shred them. They're custom made. They're couture. If you it's really made for you, um, you will there will be no other one out there like them. So I've been working on building hey, that. Hey, what's um, popping? So sorry, V. So sorry, V. Hello, everybody, if you're on the Twitch side. Hello. Oh. And what? Yes, we're on Twitch at the same time. Say hey, B. Hey, everybody. Hey. Hello. Thank you for following. Oh, yes. Thank you for following all, all Odie. What's popping, all Odie? What's Odie today? <laughs> Hello, thank you for the follow and welcome to the Creative Girl crew. I'm so glad you are here. 
Okay, hopefully you have your sketchbooks or you're ready to do a little creative activities. We're just going to be having like a chill session. Welcome to the family. And Vanessa was telling us an interesting, beautiful story about her beautiful shirt. So take it away, B. I really wasn't. <laughs> 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 plugging my Go to House of Harrison on TikTok or go to House of Harrison on IG or go to my Etsy shop where I'm starting I'm starting the process of building up the line on there. And if you have any questions on getting your shirt done by me, I got you. So that's my beautiful story yes, about it. get your now before <laughs> that's it. Um, what else? I got the opportunity to do some uh, window murals and I'll be teaching uh, painting class this week on the 22nd, the day before my birthday. Oh, shout out to myself. It's my 42nd birthday this week. Mm -hmm. Yes, indeed. Damn. Um, I will be teaching my first fiber art class on October 6th. So that is what's going on with me. <laughs> <laughs> so what's the wait a minute, what's the fiber art about? Fiber art is when you're painting on fiber. That's it. So I'm doing That's a it. class where people are bringing in, um, they can bring in t-shirts, they can bring in jeans, they can bring in jean jackets, they can bring in whatever. And I'm going to show them how to paint on them and do their own creations at home. Yes, indeed. That's what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. so who, who's ready for that? Who's ready for a little bit of fiber art? Yes, indeed. I'm ready. So can you tell us, what are you working with today? What is What are you sketching today? You guys, feel free to sketch whatever you want. You don't necessarily have to sketch what we are. I'm just doing a beautiful kind of um, some, they're called New England Roses, I think. It was like a fancy thing that I found on unsplash.com, um, which is a royalty-free photo website, just in case you guys don't know. But um Basically, I downloaded it and all the things, and I thought it was so gorgeous. It's like from a from an artist from like the 19th century. You guys know I'm obsessed with flowers from the 19th century. <laughs> so anyway, uh, I happened to I happened to download it, and this is what the photo looks like. So I was like, I need to reproduce this. Okay, I need this. I need to reproduce it. I think it looks beautiful. I'm so so ready for it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And um, that's pretty much what we're doing. But you can do anything you want to do. You don't necessarily have to follow on what I'm doing. But yeah. So, so what I, do you think? Go ahead. I'm freestyling today. That's pretty much it. So whatever's in my head is going to come out on this paper and it's going to be fabulous. And that's a wrap. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> so yeah, I've already pre-sketched mine. In case you can't see it, but I already pre it's pretty light. I try to do it light so that when I actually turn around and do it, it's fine, right? Awesome. So that's pretty much what's going on there. I already pre-sketched it out yesterday using my Prismacolor. I'm actually using my favorite, uh, whatever you call it. It's like a, a leather, faux leather bound sketchbook that I got from, um, I was about to say Michael's. <laughs> Michael's don't have no sketchbook like this. They ain't got this type of goodness going on, okay? Um, so anyway, Amazon, I got it from Amazon. I was kind of like, and I tell this story like every live stream, but <laughs> I was like testing out uh, stuff, trying to figure out kind of what I was going to like and what was going to be happening in the whole shebang. Um, and... I really like these like old mid-century books that you see in those old period movies where you see the artists and they pull out, they're all like brooding and melancholy and they pull out their sketchbook and they start writing like, dear Lily, I didn't know you was a whore. <laughs> 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 like dear my dearest Lily, oh my I thought God, you such a romantic. What? <laughs> I am, I swear I am. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh Lord. Uh, like my dearest Lily, dear oh. Lily, you disgraced us. <laughs> I like. 
I'm tempted to like. I can clutch my pearls after all that. I'm telling you. Hold on a minute. Sorry, you guys. That's a little loud. But I want to have a little music in the background. Let me know if it's too loud or it's annoying. Okay. Works for me. How's it sound, baby? I'm digging it. Let's okay, go. Good. Yes, indeed. Hello. Those are pretty roses. Yes, they are. Hey, how are you? How are you doing? How's everybody doing out there? How is your Sunday going? I hope everybody's feeling good and feeling safe out there. Well, we ain't feeling too safe, but you know what I'm saying. Trying to be as safe as possible, right? So I went out. Try and be as safe as possible. So I went out yesterday. I'm just, so I went out yesterday speaking about being as safe as possible. And so I went to go see a theater production. Now, before y'all be like, Ooh, what is she doing outside? The theater that I went to, <laughs> they mandate where everybody has to not only wear masks the entire time that they're in there, but they must also present their COVID vaccination card. So I did feel safe. Um, right. But we were t me and I went with one of my really good friends, uh, Ruth, and she works there, so she got free tickets. And we were talking, and you know, I, in this past year of lockdown, I have discovered that I am truly an introvert, and I thought I was like a defective extrovert because right. I love you know being energetic and I love people, but I get drained really easily it's like after i'm around people i have to like you know i really need like a week to recover right kind of being an uh, introvert and then i re so then we were talking because ruthie's an introvert too and she was like this is one of the most restful years i've ever had in my entire life because i didn't have to be around any people <laughs> yeah exactly exactly any people so it's like, yeah, you want to be safe and you want to stay inside. But it was, this was like also the year, if you were an introvert, this was the year where you got to kind of like restore your sanity. That was just an observation yeah. when you said that. Yeah, pretty much. It's just like, you know, mm -hmm. even though even though it's like a sad situation, but I feel like it's something where you can kind of get down with it. You know what I mean? At the same time, because like, I mean, I was just talking to, you know, my son's father and he was like, oh, like, yo, you know, I haven't caught a cold since the pandemic came, um, came because everybody's wearing masks. Yeah, nobody's breathing in anybody's, well, most people are not breathing in anybody's faces. <laughs> exactly. That, yo, that's the key I word. They're like, they're taking away my rights and da, 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 whatnot. And God bless right. them. That's how you feel. Great. You don't have to wear a mask, but please stay six feet away from me, or better yet, stay inside your home where we know you're exactly. safe. And that's that. Exactly. So it's basically like, you know, he was like, oh, I feel. You know, I haven't got sick, you know, knock on wood, like just like major cold. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So it's like, that's beautiful, right? Yes. I would have been restful if I didn't have kids. It would have been restful. <laughs> I know. Yeah. I know. I feel your pain. How is the kids? How's the new Bambino? He's growing up, though. I love that word. I love Bambino. It's so cute. I love that too, right? So I have my little porcelain thing. I Let me tell you the story about this porcelain thing, you guys. I bought this porcelain thing from, of course, Amazon. Hello. Mm. So I bought it from Amazon. And because I see everybody having this porcelain thing, like all the watercolor artists, all the people. So I'm like, okay, I need this too. Okay. I need this. All right. So I went out, had to have it, bought it, and found that it was like a miniature weird porcelain thing. <laughs> you bought it, you didn't even know what it was. I didn't even know what it was. I didn't even know it was so damn small. So I'm like, okay, really? Really? Uh, 
<laughs> and just in case you guys are new around here, go ahead and subscribe and hit the button for all notifications. Hit that like button, you guys, because it helps my channel out, helps me out in the algorithm, especially if you enjoying art tutorials, art podcasts, and art life, okay? Because art is life. It so is definitely hit that subscribe button and all the things. And we are on the road to 10,000 subscribers for Creative Girl of Color. Woohoo! So Woo like, share, subscribe, and hitting the bell that you do gets us closer to that goal. Because like she says, it helps out the alg it help the algorithm in our favor. Yes. May the odds be forever in your favor. Your favor. <laughs> 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 oh my god alright so I'm putting out some different colors um, that I feel I'm using gouache just in case you guys don't know cause that's like low key becoming my favorite thing in the whole wide world that really is becoming your low key favorite thing in the whole wide world it is right I'll like everything I be seeing you in your gouache <laughs> exactly that's like low key becoming my favorite thing so today I'm actually using markers. This is my favorite thing. If you could just give me a Sharpie marker, I'm a happy camper. So we're yeah. gonna diversify on that and we're gonna use like actual watercolor markers. I actually love these. I love how they blend. Um, yeah. And for my for my creative style and what I'm expressing, it it works, especially for the sketch pad. So that is what right. is popping up on my sketch pad today. That's what's up. I'm with it. And low key I love all the art supplies. But you know what? Markers is like one of the things that I haven't really got down with. Really? For real, yeah. It's not everybody's cup of tea. And I think because when I went to school when I was a teenager, I went to school with a bunch of graffiti artists, like low key graffiti yeah. artists. And they were all about that Sharpie marker life. And it just made sense to me in the artwork that I was doing back then. <laughs> if I had the chance to, you know, get it up on a wall somewhere, I probably would have been a graffiti artist too. Or maybe that's what I'll be in my in my later years of life. I'll be like a new graffiti artist or something. But yeah, something about right. that marker and those sharp lines and edges that you can get. Ugh, I love it. Anyway, sorry. A little bit of, little bit of art porn going on over here. Sorry, y'all. Yes, exactly. Everybody has like they they like low key like super favorite things that they love with the art. Mm. I'm putting out some sap green, you guys. I oh, know it's not even sap green. This is like regular zagala green. Okay. Is it really? It is. It's regular zagala green. <laughs> it looks like bougie green. <laughs> like what you got? You got that bougie green? You got that bougie green. Girl. You got I'm that bougie no green, girl. Like, girl, you got that bougie green. If you guys are painting along with us, I would love to see it. And, you know, in the future, I would love to have people come on and we have like a two, three, four, five, six people on the live doing a quick, um, lovely sketchbook Sundays. That would be nice. But, of course, this is going to be our probably last Sketchbook Sundays for a while because we're going into our favorite season, Spooky Season, you guys. So, we're going to be doing... Woohoo! We're going to be doing our... um, And I have some water off to the side here, too, that you guys cannot see. But, yeah. I thought it was important just to see this. The... <laughs> the, <laughs> the basics. Um, and I'm using my favorite brushes. Ooh, wait. Okay, good. Um, what are these called again? Your favorite. These brushes. are uh, exactly. That's <laughs> what are these called again? Color. My Your favorite, favorite brushes. brushes. <laughs> uh, black velvet. My black velvet brushes. Now these are not synthetic, and I don't really like condone it. But yeah, these are. I love these brushes. Well, maybe they are kind of synthetic. I think they're doing all synthetic now. Really? But yeah, black velvet is is where it's at. Okay. You heard it here, folks. Black velvet. Yes, that's my favorite brush in the whole wide world. 
Maybe um Yes. Those palettes are nice, but I have ones that are slightly bigger with two or more wells. Yes. You know what? I had to be bougie, okay? I had to get the porcelain one, trying to be extra. That's what happens, right? <laughs> oh, he's one now. Oh, my God. So much time has passed by. I swear, it's like you just had him. He's one now, walking, trying to talk, getting into everything. Everything. Exactly. Woohoo! 10K on the road to 10K. That's right. Yeah. You can get the numbers up. So make sure you guys share this. Share it. Love it. Like it. Because when you share it, that sharing is caring. That's what I heard. Sharing okay? is literally caring. Right. <laughs> so it's like literally caring. Like you love me. You know what I'm saying? So share. Said so there's a synthetic mix with natural. Trekel makes some great all synthetic watercolor brushes called Onyx. Ooh, okay, okay. Yeah, I, I, I'm like a brush hoarder. I love brushes, and I have like a hundred brushes. You guys, it's absolute insanity. Um, I feel like I need medication. <laughs> I feel like I need medication for all the brushes that we get. Okay, like. I'll be low key at the store. Like, do you need more brushes? Do you really need that? That's what I'm thinking about. <laughs> I'll be talking to myself in the aisle. People probably be like, okay, something ain't right. Something is seriously not right. Okay. Um, but yeah, that's what I'll be saying to myself in the aisle. Like, do you need that, sis? I don't think you need that. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, do you really need that? Do you? All right. Mm -hmm. So what are some of the interesting things? What I want to know, what are you guys, like, watching on TV right now? That's what I want to know. Oh, God. What's, what like, the hot watching? thing that people are watching right now on TV? I just got done watch. I just tore up something too, and I can't remember what the heck I was watching. <laughs> it was so good. Oh, um, on Hulu. It was on Hulu. Hold on, I'm pulling it up. Hulu, n the, and it's a new one with Nicole Kidman, and it's an absolute hot mess. It's a new one with Nicole Kidman? Yes, Nine Perfect Strangers. Oh my golly. That was good. Hot show. Couldn't put down the couldn't put down my computer. I tore through all six episodes. Episode 7 is out now. Like this is some wild like borderline. It's a it's a, um it's a series and I don't know if it's up for renewal cuz this is like its first season. But it's it's a trip. I, that's all I can say. I can't give anything away. Y'all just need to go watch that. You just, you just need to go watch it. <laughs> just prepare to have your jaw drop and be like, what? Girl, no, she did it. It's like one of those. So it's just out here. Nicole Kidman be, putting, be doing some good shows for real. This is a good show, and it's got um, who else does it have in there? Well, she's a good actress, though. It's I'm got not lie. a whole lot of heavy hitters, like Regina King is in. Is it Regina? Hold on, Nicole Kim and Melissa McCarthy. Hold on, hold on, let's see. Perfect. Yes, indeed. I'm a brush. <laughs> she said, "I'm a brush holder too." Yeah, exactly. It's I'm a brush holder. So it's Regina Hall. Regina Hall is in this one along with Melissa McCarthy and like a whole bunch of other heavy hitters in like their worst moments ever in life. Oh my God, it's so good. Oh, let me stop. Okay, I'm done. Oh, she said she heard that show was gold. That show is wild and I love it. That show it is, is a go. It is gold. It is so good, Kemi. You need to watch that. Like, go watch it. Like, not right now because you're here with us, but like after we're done, go and start watching. It. <laughs> so you can be like, oh, oh. Man. just wild. 
Exactly. Like, what? Mm-hmm. That's really good. That's really good. So what have you been watching, D? You know how I do. You know how I do. Let me see what's going on. Um, that's a little bit too red. I'm trying to remember my color mixes by heart. Hold on. This always happens when I don't paint for a while. It's like, wait a minute. What's the color? What's the color combination again? Right. Because when I like when I first started learning how to paint, do I want that color? I think I do. Huh. When I first started learning how to paint, I used to write down all my color combinations by heart, but not by heart, but like write them all in the book, try to figure out like exactly what the colors were and yada yada yada. And all the things, right? So then, but now I kind of know them by heart. So I'm like, hmm. But sometimes when I don't paint for a while, I'm like, damn, what, what is it again? <laughs> no, I feel you. Totally feel you. It can be really difficult. Wait, what the hell happened to my yellow? Oh, there it is. Okay. So hopefully you guys are painting along with us. I hope you guys are. What are you guys doing on this Sunday evening? Putting it on the list now. Oh, she said she's putting on putting it on the list now. Ooh, gotta <laughs> love it. Uh, <laughs> You're gonna exactly. love it. If you happen to be pun to replay, put down hashtag replay crew. And tell us what you think. What you're thinking about your favorite movies? What are you thinking about today's live stream? And are you excited for Spooky Tober? Because I know I am, right? Yes. So, yeah. Um, I'm trying to really you look kind of like water this down. I'm gonna really light color. So what am I watching? I am watching. Um, I just finished watching yesterday. I really got back into um what is it called? Amazon. You know, because yeah. a lot of times I don't really like Amazon movies because they're like really stupid. <laughs> I don't even know how to explain it, but it's just horrible. Like, that's not his forte. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, that's really not his forte. Um, uh, movies and whatever. Like, I feel like that's just something he kind of threw together. And he was like, boom, let's do it. You know what I mean? Um, but that I'm kind of really enjoying. Um, one is a movie that came out. It's called... Uh, it's called The Tomorrow War. You guys know that I love sci-fi. If you don't, now you do. Um, like you do, right? Um, you guys know that I love sci-fi. And so this is all about sci-fi. It's all about this guy. He, you know, just living an ordinary life, saying to himself, I really want to be, you know, all the things and I and I want to be like a famous kind of developer, a famous uh scientist and yada yada yada. That's what he's saying to himself. He wanna be all these different things so he can like impress his daughter, whatever. I mean, because that's the name of the game, right? You you wanna impress your kids if you have kids, you want them to be proud of you or whatever. And um turns out you know, he was, like, turned down. Nobody was thinking about him for real. He couldn't really find any jobs. Like, all the, like, you know, the whole underdog kind of story or whatever. And then, um, all of a sudden, one day, these aliens or these people from the future appeared out of nowhere oh. in the middle of a game. Oh, my gosh. 
<laughs> insane. So these people kind of appeared out of nowhere. He's supposed to be a big scientist waiting for his big break or whatever. So he's looking at this on the TV trying to figure out what's going on. Well, I don't really want to spoil it for you guys, but I know a lot of you don't really like horror and all of that stuff, so I can kind of spoil it a little bit. Spoiler alert. Um. So, yeah, it, I, it was like he ended up having to save the world. It turns out he met his daughter in the future. Oh. Yeah. He had to be transported into the future. And while he was being transported into the future, he met his future tri- his future child. How trippy is that, you guys? Yeah. How, how freaking trippy is that? Okay. Could you imagine meeting your family member in the future? That's right. Wow. Um, she said, I'm working on some Halloween designs. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Definitely. I want to see those. I know it's going to be dope. Um, just in case y'all don't know, you she's a wonderful artist, wonderful drafts person. I wish she had more time. But these chitlins, you know what I'm saying, be taking our time. We don't have time for anything. Um, You know, kids get in the way, y'all. Mm. <laughs> these chitlins get in the way, right? So anyway, like I was saying, um, the guy, he met his daughter in the future, and it was like these alien things, and the alien things, they would call them like white snakes or whatever, white spikes, whatever, Mm -hmm. and they were like these weird kind of triceratops slash alligator looking things with things that come out of their backs, and they kind of swoop down and suck your blood (laughs) What the hell? What? <laughs> this sounds like bad sci-fi. I'm down for a bad sci-fi movie. It was like low budget effects and everything. No, it wasn't no low budget. <laughs> but I mean, like when I first seen them, like they was like so mysterious. Like there was, it was a lot of mystery kind of surrounding, um, you know, the whole thing. It was a lot of mystery kind of surrounding it, and people was like, okay. So, what else is there, you know? <laughs> so, it was a lot of mystery kind of surrounding, like, what these animals or these, like, monsters was going to actually look like. Mm-hmm. And um, when you finally saw them, you was like, oh, snap. You better run. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, it kind of turned out to be... When it was like super scary and they like adapted to anything. It had one of the um the kind of things it was like the the it had like a, a queen to a queen like sloth or whatever the hell it was. It had a queen of them and the queen like had a red belly. It was a whole drama. Oh my god. So you guys gotta watch that. I I mean it, it affected me so badly. Like I legit was like Woke up this morning thinking about it, like, oh my god, is that sloth gonna come out? <laughs> no, <mm-mm. laughs> absolutely not. <laughs> nope. <sighs> I don't want to exactly. Mm. Uh, she said they sure do, yes, yeah. I know, right? I wish I had more time, too. Exactly, I wish I had more time, too. Yay! Crack Smoke Baby is in the his house. Hello, how are you? Happy Sunday. How are you feeling? What's going on? Catch me up on how your day is going. I would love to hear all about it. I love the name. Welcome. Oh, that came together quick, V. Well, my little sketch? Mm Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. I'm just doing some roses. How are you, honey? How are you feeling? Welcome in to the creative activities. So, yeah, that was a thing, okay? Apparently. Let me put it out there. Huh? I said, apparently, while you watching Velociraptors that got you up at night, my goodness. 
<laughs> Yo, I was like, wait a minute. I was up this morning. I was like, Mm-mm. oh man, I'm about to be attacked in the bed. Girl, bye. <laughs> <Nope>. <laughs> 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 you talk about girl, bye. <laughs> Look, listen, for us in viewer land, I am a bona fide wuss, and I am <laughs> proud of it. I am not watching shit that's going to have me waking up at 2, cl- two, two o'clock in the morning. What's that noise? Uh, uh, no, we ain't doing that. That's a in our life where that was a thing, and just know, sleep is exactly. more important to me. <laughs> so Cracksmo says they are chilling just playing the sims like you do Woo! yes that's my other favorite pastime just in case you guys don't know is playing the sims okay I want to know what are you watching these days Crack Smoke, baby let us know what type of movies what's your favorite chat put it down in the comments I want to know what are your favorite movies what are you guys watching Yes, indeed. I love sci-fi. Exactly. See, she know what I'm talking about. Like, yo, but I feel like as I get older, my stomach is like, um, no, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's deep because I was like, yo, uh, why the hell am I thinking about this? This uh, half alien, half lawful raptor or whatever the hell it's called. Why am I thinking about this thing in the nighttime? Okay. Mm-hmm. Maybe I watched it too late in the night. I think that's uh, probably what yeah. it was, too. If I'm I think watching, I was watching it too late in the night. Trippy, if it's after 8 p.m., I generally don't watch it. I watch it during the daytime. I'm usually good if I watch it during the daytime, but at night, it's some. It's just different at night. It be hitting you different at night. And I'm like, mm-hmm. Exactly. At night, you be like, what's that? What happened? Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, nah, I'm good. <laughs> <sighs> exactly. I'm good. Exactly. Well, I, I've been meaning to watch. Um, what you said? I've been meaning to watch that too. Exactly. Get on there. I love that. But watch it in the morning. Time. <laughs> watch it in the morning. <laughs> watch it in the morning. Okay. That's what I suggest. That's about suggested to y'all. Watch it in the morning. Oh my god, and then we went to um just in case y'all missed it, y'all y'all not on my Instagram. Well, um on my main Instagram, the creative real color. Um, I posted pictures. Well, I think I pro- posted pictures on Twitter too. I posted pictures when I went to the Halloween store because I have like a whole costume and everything kind of planned for Halloween. So I'm getting ready for the whole shebang. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that's kind of what I'm doing too, is trying to get ready for all that. Like in the next two weeks, I'm gonna be pretty much off the grid, only posting, coming up for air every once, <laughs> every once I'm in a still while. Alive. All out there in your land, I'm still alive. Exactly, I'm still alive. Go buy my art dot com. <laughs> Holiday exactly. Season. Holiday season's coming up, y'all. You know, I'm just saying. It is so, coming you know, up for real. We're gonna be having some really cool stuff coming out. So, you know, you looking for presents for the fam and the friends and whatnot. You better come knock knock on our door. What you got? Exactly. I don't get freaked out so easy, you know. I like creepy stuff. See, you that's why we vibe for real. That's exactly why we vibe. Yes, indeed. Oh, that's Nightbot. Nightbot, get out of here. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> yes, indeed. See, that's why we vibe. We vibe like we vibe, baby. Yes, I got the Halloween birthday to plan. Oh, who who born on Halloween? Your son? Um, I got a Halloween birthday to plan and get a teenager ready for her first homecoming. Ooh, so sweet elite. We are with it, okay? We are here for it, fam. We are here for it. That's what we hear. I don't know what the hell happened to my brown. It's like all of a sudden I can't find Brown. Like, where are you, Brown? Girl, I don't know. Call my name if you're here. (laughs) 
Call my name if you're here, Brown. I'm here, Danielle. Is that? <laughs> Wouldn't that be good if you could like uh, have it in the box, like voice response? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. First baby boy is a Halloween baby. Oh my god, that's so funny. Wait, what am I doing? What is this? No, that's not what I want. Is that what I want? Yeah, that isn't what I want. <laughs> <laughs> Great talk. That was awesome. <laughs> yes. Did you find oh, your brown? Is it no, I didn't even find a brown. I'm gonna have to manually mix it. Like that's the whole reason of buying pre-made colors. So you don't have to manually mix anything. You know what I'm saying? Well, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> So sorry. Like, why do I have to mix it? See, I had to mix it. And that's not even fully giving me the brown vibes I want. Mm -hmm. Here we go. See, I had to mix it myself. Builds character. <laughs> it builds character. Mix your own brown. That's what we heard, right? <laughs> Started at the bottom, now we here, right? Build your Ooh! No! Don't bleed! Don't bleed on the rest of my stuff. Don't breathe! Don't breathe! Look at it. It wants to bleed. Damn it! See, that's the problem when you're dealing with gouache. It wants to be doing all sorts of nonsense. The good thing about it is I can cover it up if I need to. All right. All right, let me get to it now before it starts doing all sorts of nonsense that I don't want it to do. Boom. And then I still have, like, that brown spot right there. Uh-oh. I think we lost Vanessa. Yep, uh, she'll be back. She'll be back, you guys. And we're back and better than ever. Um, yes, it's a Halloween baby. Halloween babes. So what is that like, having a Halloween babe? I'm always, like, fascinated by people that are born on Christmas, Halloween. Uh Look at it. And it's trying to bleed again. Of course you didn't learn your lesson, Daniel, did you? <laughs> you didn't learn your lesson. All right, let me leave that alone. Let me leave it alone. Leave it alone, peeps. Leave it alone. All right. So it's so many things going on, you guys. I cannot wait for y'all to kind of get the vibes and see what's going on. We lost our poor Vanessa, but she'll be back soon. You can count on it, peeps. Yeah, so that's one of my like my favorite movies that I'm kind of watching. I'm really, really feeling those movies right there when I'm not like horrified and scared and all the things. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's like, ma'am, what happened? I'm not, like, horrified and feeling some type of way about stuff. And then I was kind of going over some of my favorite movies, kind of trying to rewatch some of my favorite movies for Spooky Tober, like some, you know, Spooky Tober that we have coming up so that I can kind of get familiar with how things are and yada, yada, yada. And I'm like, oh, snap. Like, why is everything, like, so expensive? Everything you got to, like, pay for it. It's like, oh, you can't watch that for free? And I'm like, why would I pay for that? I literally just um, seen that 20 years ago. Why am I paying for it now? <laughs> and then I started to think back on 
you know, when we can do Blockbuster and stuff like that. Oh my God, like I'm telling my age, Blockbuster? Should they probably like, y'all probably like, what? Blockbuster? What's going on with Blockbuster? You know what I'm saying? Oh my God, I can't. Yeah, I know. I need to get a heating gun out for real. I don't even. You know what? I don't even have my heating gun. Um, I have a. I have a great gun I use to dry layers as I go. It helps stop bleeding in both the gouache and watercolor. Yeah, I need to do that, but I'm lazy. That's the thing. I don't know what happened. I don't have a heating gun, but I do have a blow dryer that I usually use. But I feel like that's gonna be kind of like overkill. And that's, like, the one thing, as I was, like, setting up today, I was like, you know what? We, like, you know, I didn't even think of everything. <laughs> yes, indeed. Okay? That's what I'm like. So, yeah, that's pretty much what's been going on. Um, but I was like, you know what? But in between all the things that I'm playing in between Spooky Tober and all the other activities, I'm like, yo, I need to sit down and actually do something just for me, something because everybody needs that like whole thing, right? We all need that like session. And I got my culada. Culada. Okay. <laughs> She got the culada. Um, so everybody needs that that kind of thing where they're just chilling and they have like time for themselves and you're not worrying about deadlines and all the things. That's kind of why I was thinking about this sketchbook Sunday because you're not worried about all of those different things that come along with daily life when you can kind of just do stuff just for yourself. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yes. The culada is hitting different, okay? That's how you do, like you do. Okay, so I'm going to try to get this green, but I need to tone it down. I need to tone down that green, darling. So I'm actually going to add a little bit of red to tone down that green. And that's too much. It's too much going on. Uh, there you go. Give me a little bit of sap green. Like a brown green. That's kind of what I'm looking for. Like a brown green, maybe. A little bit more of a green. But I'm really getting into like this gouache and all the things that kind of come along with it. I'm really digging it as of lately for real. So I hope you guys are painting along with me. Let me get a little bit of... Some water. Mm hmm. And then I think my stuff kind of mixed it in there, too. Get a little bit of water. Half the battle is kind of getting the green. Like, there's so many different variations of green. So, that's like half the battle kind of trying to figure out what green you want. So, you got to mix all these different things together to figure out, like, what green do I like? What is it? Is it too yellow? Is it too brown? Is it too purple? Is it the right green? Is it the sap green? Is it the this, the da, 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 right? All these different things. I'm going to put a little bit. I want a more of like a yellow green. And boom, like it went from like dark to like some whole nother level of something else, baby. All right, because I wanted something to give me kind of what I was looking for. All right, and that's still a little bit too dark. Too dark. Mm -mm -mm. 
That's kind of lighter. The good thing about gouache, it'll it'll dry the way I want it to. It'll dry lighter than I actually laid it down. Because I want to have these, like, vintage Because, I mean, in the picture, it's, like, vintage right? So, I kind of want it to be vintage for real. Like, I'm not even going to lie about that. Like, I want it to be vintage But for me. <laughs> oh, man. So, yeah. I was in the store kind of getting ready. Buying costumes already. For my son. I found this dope store. And they had nothing but, like, beautiful costumes with that featured all of the movies. All of my favorite movies. All of my favorite movies, like, um, uh, Beetlejuice. They had, um, The Bride of Chucky. They had all these different things on there. And I was like, oh, snizzap. Okay. Um, I thought V was back, but she's not. Yeah. So they had all of these different things going on in that store. I was in heaven. In absolute heaven, you guys. I swear I was. All right, so, and these are like, real love, okay, and V is back, back and better than ever, um, let's bring her back in, why don't we, hey V, Hi. And you're back, hunty. Oh, thank you, Jesus. That was so weird. What happened? <laughs> well, the whole internet got knocked out. My whole internet oh my got God. knocked out. And I'm like, what's going on? Did I pay my bill? Which I did. <laughs> mm, you are crazy. What? Real life that. <laughs> It's real life, people. It's real life. <laughs> In case you're wondering. <laughs> like, hello? <laughs> did I, did I, I pay my bill? Girl, I was mad. I was like, what? We were in the middle of a great discussion, too, and just bloop. Everything. It was like, not, not today, ma'am. You will not be having any conversations today. I guess not. What were y'all talking about while I was gone? I was still kind of going on my rant about like movies, but then I kind of segued into um, talking about um, some of the stuff that I got into at the Halloween store that I went to. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and I was like, in case you guys don't know, like hopefully you follow me on. Um, Hold up, I'm trying to get these straight lines. Like, blow, black owl. Black owl. <laughs> um, yes, indeed. Wait, hold on. Let me see something. Da, 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 da. Za, 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 za. All right. Let me pause this. Okay. Because that's weird. <laughs> that's weird. Okay. What do we have going on one's heels? It's more than just a friend. So, yeah, that's pretty much what we were talking about. Um, The Halloween thing. Because, you know, I'm, like, preparing, getting ready for Spooky Tober. And with all of that going on... I'm, like, trying to figure out, like, what's my costume going to be, all the things. So, that's, I mean, that's the gist of what's happening with that, you know? Mm. Trying to figure out the old costume section. 
That's important. Can't be walking yeah, exactly. in a black costume. <laughs> but this is like legit the first year that I'm gonna be like, you know? What? Be like what? Wait a minute. Hold on. Let me see. I'm trying to trace these things. Make sure I have it in the right place. Okay, that goes there. Why is that there, though? That's weird. That's so weird. Okay? Get your line together. Trying to get my lines right, because these lines are th so thin. So thin, baby. So thin. Yeah, so you can't really be, you know what I mean? What? And, and and before I wasn't really worried about like having a good costume and stuff like that. Cuz I even though I love like spooky season and like I like kind of horror movies and stuff like that, I was never the one that was like, "Oh, I really need." You know what I mean? Oh, now I get what you're saying. I was never the one that's like, oh, I need to go to X, Y, and Z. I really need to go to the show. I really need to go to this thing. You know, I have to be looking good and da da da, da. You know, have to have the perfect costume. I never got to really do like a Halloween party and stuff like that. But they had so much stuff in there. So much stuff. They had like stuff from like every single movie you could possibly think of, you know, um, Nightmare on Elm Street, Freddy, the whole shebang. Right up your alley. <laughs> <laughs> right up, your right alley. up my alley, right? Mm -hmm. Right up the old alley. No, 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 no. Yeah, and then I was watching um, some other stuff going on with, uh, I was just going down a rabbit hole on social media today, just watching, like, people on their pages and just really just evaluating and kind of thinking to myself, like, <laughs> like, what's the meaning of life? <laughs> oh, okay. You know what I mean? So, um, oh, and I was listening, listening to, like, a good, these people was, like, having, like, a whole podcast and kind of talking about how, um, you know, if you are in a business and you get taken advantage of or whatever the case may be, you you can't just look at the person that did it to you. You got to really start to sit back and kind of evaluate, like, what happened? Why why did you get taken advantage of? Right. How did you get into that position? It's not just that person's fault. Because, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's true. Yeah, my mother, my bonus mom, shout out to Carrie Harrison. She always says, you have to look at what you did, what you did to allow yourself to participate in the situation to begin with. Right. And it's not condemnation, it's for growth. Yeah, because I swear, a lot of times we would get into these modes where we're like, you know? Mm -hmm. Self-deprecating, we're like, oh, well, you know, they did me dirty, they did me wrong. What happened? Da, da, da. And it was like, yeah, you know. They did. And, you know. They did do you wrong. They did do, you know, and she was like, yeah. And that shit is bogus. But you ain't got no control over that. What you gonna do to allow yourself to heal so you can go ahead and move on? Exactly. I mean, and that was pretty much the name of the game. Like, what are you gonna do? to kind of process and kind of heal from that situation. Right. And then you you can't just be like the blame game, like, oh, you did this, that, and the third to me. You got to think about, like, how were you, you know, were you giving so much? They was like, it's a difference between giving a get, uh, being a giver and being a nurturer. Oh, Lord. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. 
So it was like, you know, are you giving more than you're getting? Then that's you just giving stuff away. You're not really a nurturer. You know what I mean? You're you're giving so much of yourself that you allow somebody to come in and kind of decimate you and take advantage of everything that you have going on. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So that was really something that was deep to me because I was like, man, you know, a lot of times we get into whether it's a, um, you know, emotional, whatever business relationship. Cause I mean, at the end of the day, relationship is a relationship, right? Like it, it, I don't really feel like there's a distinction. I mean, do you think it's a distinction between the only distinction uh, between relationships is, you know, what's the purpose for them? What purpose are they serving? Is it a romantic relationship? Is it a friendship? Is it a business partnership? And there should be, there should be, there should be boundaries. There should be a common agreement between the people that are entering into the relationship and there should be boundaries put up. Like, you know, um, I'm expecting this to take place while we're in relationship together. Um, and, you know, boundaries that would break trust or that would go against the foundation of why the relationship begins to uh, exist to begin with anyway. Um, that should be respected. So no, there's there are differences, but it depends on what the relationship is, what's the purpose of a relationship, and what fruit is it producing. That's my two cents. No, I agree. I feel like, you know, it has... I really feel like there's no distinction between, you know, a business relationship, um, a romantic relationship besides what the parameters of that relationship is. Like, you know, um, cause so much of what we do in our businesses that comes, you know, that comes from like art or whatever has to do with personal, like it's personal, right? We're pouring how we feel out into the world and we're holding ourselves bare type of thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like, yeah, I feel like it's not much of a distinction as far as I'm concerned. And how you feel about, and they was like, you know, how you feel about yourself emotionally pours into your business. Yeah. You know, if you if you see that you if you feel like, oh, they, I have no I'm not worthy or I don't have any worth or yada yada yada, that stuff pours into your business. It's true. And then people can smell that. They're like, oh boom, that person is giving, that person will do X, Y, and Z for me. Da, 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 da. All I got to do is come in, you know, mad bogus. <laughs> and, you know, just take what I can. It's very, very true. And, and then, he, then the person was like, okay, so, um, what do you, you know, what was your role in that? Like, you conveyed the message that, oh, it's cool for you to take advantage of me. Yes. And this is a conversation that we all need to be having across the board. No, it doesn't matter what business you're in or, you know, what your work is. It's like, you know, and it, it's, it's nothing to condemn. Again, it's just those conversations, that self-check thing. Where are you at in your level of growth? And, you know, if if there are failures along the way, if things didn't quite work out, are you going to go ahead and point the finger at everybody else? Or are you going to go ahead and step back and assess what went right and what went wrong and what to apply on your next go around? Right. What in the world did I do with my phone? I don't know. <laughs> uh, I'm like asking you like you here. <laughs> Girl, I don't know. 
That was just oh, my, that was my opportunity to be a smart ass, so I took it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Let's just be oh, honest. Man. Let's just be honest. <laughs> Wait a minute, did we share this? What? Um the the live. We only got like one person in here. You mean like YouTube? Um wait, how many are you seeing on your end? Are you seeing anybody on your end? Uh like on YouTube, on Facebook, what are you talking about? Yeah. I'm seeing one person watching right now. Okay. Um, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold, on. hold please. We dropping some gems today. They gotta get in here and get these get these gems. I think this is like so this is part of why I like doing these because I feel like it's like really therapeutic. You just sit and chill, kind of chat. Looks like we got I know we had four viewers come in and you know, check things out. I can't I can't see if they're all on who's all on here now. Yeah. Ooh. Uh, yeah, but I really feel like this is like really therapeutic for my soul. I really love doing these little sketchbook sessions. Makes a world of difference. <clears throat> Makes the world of difference, darling. Into doing things. We just have like five minutes. We're not worrying about other people. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Oh, you're back? Okay. Cool, 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 cool. I was doing some investigative work to see who was watching and who wasn't. <laughs> we can go out like this person. to investigative reports. Mm hmm. AKA being nosy. <laughs> Being that nosy auntie on the porch who knows everything. Exactly. Like, what are you doing? What you got going on? What you up to? Exactly. What do you have going on? Mm -hmm. I see you. Hopefully you guys are painting along with us and getting some, like, chill zen vibes. And you can always play us in the background. Play us in the background while you flow through your day. Have a little chatter. Keep we can keep you company while you take care of the kids. Swing the babies. <laughs> the babies. <laughs> take me a little slurpy slurp of my um culada. Your who? Uh it's a call of, what is it called? It's like a culada. That's what they call it, but it's like a frosty or like a smoothie. A culada. Type thing. Yeah, it's called a culada. It's come from um, Dunkin' Donuts. That sounds bougie. <laughs> well, it's expensive. Let me tell you that. Whoa. Culada. <laughs> you want some of this culada? You know what I'm saying? I love it. Um, Mm, it's pretty much it. the only thing I can eat or drink. Well, it's pretty much the only thing I can drink these days, especially since the doctor's like, hmm, 
You got to relax. You can't be eating all these sweets, girl. That's it? Sweets? Nothing. I can't live my best life at all. <laughs> well, maybe it just means you have an even better life to live. Yeah, a boring ass. <laughs> Don't say that. A boring ass, dry, healthy life. Like, yeah, I'm healthy. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm healthy. It's okay. Nope. Like, calm down. You know, so I'm like, I mean, I feel a lot better, but I'm always like missing it. Like, damn, I'm so hungry. And, and I'm hungry better. again. Cause, you know, I'm, I'm allergic to alcohol, so like that—that that was a year of just me in tears. Just like when everybody, when anybody else pulled out a drink, I'm like, "Can we get a tonic with lime, please?" Thanks. <laughs> Wait a minute, you allergic to alcohol? Yeah, How that happen? Um, I, when I was in school full time, um, and I was working full time, um, I just I stopped sleeping. I went back to school when I was in my 30s, and you know, sleep starts. Yeah. To funny in the 30s and so sleep is important right and yeah i was talking to my mom and she's like you should do an elimination diet uh because i drank i loved my wine i smoked i did all the things and i thoroughly loved it and so she's like you should do an elimination diet uh to see what's going on and so i did i did a two-week one and my body reset and i started sleeping better and i started having more energy and i was working out more and it was great and then a few weeks later, I went out, still no alcohol. I yeah. didn't want it anymore. I didn't, my body didn't want it. I didn't want it. And I ended up going out with some friends from work after work. And one of my coworkers was like, here, drink this beer. And I'm like, no, I'm good. She's like, drink this beer. And I'm like, okay, fine. I'll drink the beer. And so I had a couple sips and I was <laughs> fine. But the next day, I was sick as a dog. I was sick. I was so sick. I'm not even going to describe how what the physical effects were i was just sick i was so sick i couldn't even leave my dorm room to go to class i had to call off class and i thought maybe it was just a beer so i ended up going out and having a totally different beer same exact thing happened and it happened quicker this the second time and i was like okay well i guess i can't have beer i can still have other stuff like vodka or, or whiskey or whatever right and yeah Lo and behold, I was like, I, I got sick after that too. And I wasn't even just sick. It was like onset, immediate migraines, like pounding. And it would last for two days. Oh, God. Yeah. And I couldn't. And then the worst part was I couldn't sleep through it. Because, you know, at least when you get drunk, you're going to pass out, right? Nope. Yeah. Not at all. Mm -mm. No, I stayed awake through all of it. It was awful. So come to find out that I had triggered an allergy that I already had. Oh my God. Right. So this was uh, seven years ago now. That first year sucked. Totally sucked. But I'm better for it. I'm better for it. And I don't miss it. I truly don't. So. Yeah. So now you're not really missing it like that. Mm -hmm. But that first year, I was like, uh, uh, like I couldn't <laughs> even have, I couldn't even have Irish cream. Of all like the baby alcoholic drinks you could have, I couldn't even have that. Couldn't even do a white Russian. It was like it was over. God, wow, no more. You're done. Like that's it for you, sis. Mm -hmm. That is it for you. Pretty much. We won't be having any of that, ma'am. Mm -mm. <laughs> That's exactly what he said. He said, you will not be having any of that, ma'am. Nope. You're done. Exactly. You will not be having any of that, ma'am. And I was very not proud happening. of my drinking prowess. I mean, I was <clears> he <throat> was shots under the table with grown men, and I'll drink them. So I was very, very proud of that. But I have <laughs> other things to be proud of now, and that's fine. That's okay. Mm -hmm. That's okay. Oh, fine. Mm -hmm. I know you was a drinking machine, boy. I was. <laughs> and I was. I was nothing to be played with. Oh, my God. That is funny. <laughs> drinking machine. 
Oh, man. Like, I'll drink you under the table, Roger. Wow. Let's go. <laughs> what? I don't even think I knew any Rogers Danielle. <laughs> I think I knew Rogers. Like, I'll drink you under the table. Let's go. <laughs> Oh, man. We need help. That was great. Oh, man. But, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much what I'm feeling. But, I mean, it's more so my kryptonite is the, um, you know, the what's the name? The um the chocolate. Cause I can't have chocolate anymore. My I can't, you know, um all those things. Like I can't do any of those things anymore. Um you know, I gotta watch my salt intake, make sure my blood pressure doesn't go like super high. It's like crazy. Yeah. And it's like when you're young, when you're young, you like take advantage of a lot of that stuff. You're like, oh yeah, you know. I mean, when like you, when you're in your twenties and stuff, mm-hmm. you're like, you're like, oh my god, like you know, blood pressure where? That's for old people. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, like blood pressure? Who? I'm stuck on the blood pressure where part. That was great. <laughs> <laughs> What's blood pressure? Blood pressure who? Where is it? <laughs> <laughs> you like nobody has blood high blood What's pressure. That? Where is it? Like what is uh-huh. it? Like oh my god! Like I can eat what I want. I can eat like a whole bag of oodles and noodles with the pack. My Stop man, playing. Me and my sister. I found out my sister had the same exact thing in high school. It was hot Cheetos and Mountain Dew. That was the diet <laughs> in high school. Oh my god! I'm surprised. And Mountain Dew, that's like full of sugar. Even I couldn't drink it when I was young. I'm surprised that both of us still have a stomach. That's all I have to say. <laughs> like just looking back at like everything that is wrong with Mountain Dew is like, oh <laughs> wow, there really is a god, and he had me covered because Ned, baby. Mm-mm. I'm telling you. <laughs> That's and you know what? I thought that was more in in the South. People dr- um drunk Mountain Dew, cause I know my family's like from you know North Carolina for real. Like, you know, if you like trace our history and all that, we're from North Carolina, mm-hmm. and um, uh, a lot of them they love Mountain Dew, man. That's all they sell down there. No, we have that up north too. I mean, they have it all low, but I'm saying that's the popular drink. Let's say that. It's popular. It's like okay. It's like call all soda Pepsi or some or Coke or something like that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's so awesome. <laughs> I think that's the most awesome thing. What do they call it? Pepsi or Coke? What? Like all soda? Like people in the South, do they call soda pepsi or coke like all of it no they call it pop they call it pop that's what it is okay thank you that's like old school like you want some of that pop girl you you like it girl I'm like my name is not girl sis <laughs> <Down there> <laughs> It is now. I'm like, you want some of that soda, girl? And my grandmother, God rest her soul, is from the South. I mean, so that's how I know all of those little things. But I was still hardcore New Yorker. And I would go down there, and my cousins, they were like, yeah, that, that, she's from, she from that old New York. <laughs> She from that New York. She thinks she all up there. I like whatever. Up, up there, up there. I can't even say up there. Up there. What? She thinks she up there. She thinks she. Oh, okay. 
I miss the other. I yeah. Miss the tea. She's mm -hmm. y'all uppity. I love it. I'd be like, anyway, when am I going back home? <laughs> right. <laughs> I need you to take me out of here, out of this time warp. I feel like I'm. <laughs> I feel like I'm in the color purple. <laughs> Me and you will never part my teeth. Da, da. I know, I'm telling you. Ain't no mountain. Ain't I swear no to God, it's, that's what it was like. Because they was in the backwoods of North Carolina. And where you can hear every little living, living thing from the mosquitoes. It's like a certain sound that the wilderness of North Carolina makes. Where you can hear the crickets kind of cricket in their legs and stuff. <laughs> All the things. You can hear every little thing. You can hear the roses growing in the backyard. You can hear, um, then you get woken up by the damn um, hen at 6 a.m. That's their clock. Whatever. The uh, hen, the rooster, the thing that's in the, in the shed. <laughs> the thing that's in the shed. He said, at this point in time, you know why it's a name. <laughs> the thing that's in the shed, okay? And, and oh my God, don't even get me started on the snakes. I felt like I was, I swear to God, I felt like I was in the, um, uh, uh, what's that damn show called? Indiana Jones slash oh, freaking, no, um, no. the color ah. <laughs> They had poison ivy in the ditch. They were like, you going down in the... <laughs> Shut up. Oh, my God. Oh, my you going down there and you getting that ditch, girl? <laughs> I'm like, I'm not going in the no, ditch. Sir. Why? No, sir, I am not. That would be, no. <laughs> that would be a... Let me go check with my camp. And I'll get back. Exactly. To My camp said no. <laughs> no. Oh man. Oh, speaking of shows, have you watched? Speaking of North Carolina, speaking of the Carolinas and shows, have you watched High on the Hog? High on the Hog. I don't. Is that like a food show? Yeah. Yeah. It's a what it is. You know, kind of like how um, <clears throat> hair documentary. Hair documentary. Good hair. I don't know if good hair was, yeah. was a good analogy, but there's a a book called Hair Story, and it documents the entire history of um, Black Americans from Africa to today through their hair. Yeah. That's what High on the Hog is. It documents our uh, roots as African American, or Africans coming over from Africa, from West, uh, uh, Sub-Saharan West Africa over to the Carolinas and thus spreading forth from the Carolinas, like to the North, to the South and to the West. Right. I highly, 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 Look at this person. Highly. What about followers? No, ma'am. Let me see how I can hold up. Hold up. I got to ban somebody. Hold up. What? I got to ban somebody. Why y'all mm -hmm. in trouble on this live? We on here. <laughs> Talk about you want to buy followers. Get off of here. You want to buy? You want to buy this boot off of my live? What about that? I'm. I do not hesitate to boot people off my live. I'm not playing. I'm logging hey, into right. Twitch. Go ahead, it? keep talking, B, because I'm logging into Twitch. Y'all heard it? Y'all don't want none of this. <laughs> Y'all heard it? <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> you crazy. <laughs> oh man. Um let's North see. Carolina crazy mixed with Bed Stuy, Brooklyn coming at you straight with the five <laughs> finger fish. She gonna mess you up. Why are you coming on uh, crazy on a Sunday? The Lord's Day. You. I'm telling you, it's the Lord's Day. This is this is the Lord's live stream. It's not for you, ma'am. Okay. <laughs> uh, it's not for you. Okay. So let's skip that happening. together real quick. Um, bad. That's right. You have been 
Bizammed. Goodbye. <laughs> All right, and we're back on. We're back in action. <laughs> okay, we are back in action. Stop playing. I cannot, and I will not. <laughs> I told you that we won't stop. I thought I told you that we won't stop. Uh, but exactly. I cannot and I will not. We're not doing that. Not today. Anywho. Alrighty then. So all is right in the land of <laughs> in the beautiful land of Sketchbook Sundays. Yeah. Okay? Anyway, what were we talking about? Oh, yeah, we were oh, talking about... See? Oh, hi. Look at them. They done messed up my blend. So, yeah, growing up... Damn. God damn. Look at them. They messed up my blend. <gasps> Bastards. I'm telling you. Like, off with your head. <laughs> So anyway, um, you were saying V about that um the movie, right? The I show. Have a hog. You need to go watch that like today, like for real, for real. It's very, very. It's very. Um, I think that there is a definite connection with genetics in terms of history. Um, right. And I, I strongly feel that, you know, what our ancestors went through is passed down to <clears> us. <throat> you know, not just um, in oral history, whatever oral history that we're able to come by, given our history mm-hmm. in the United States and that it was um, systemically wiped out on purpose, that we wouldn't have um, bloodlines that we could, you know, effectively trace back to Africa. Um, I think that was done on purpose. Um, but I still say that, you know, memories, oral history, traditions, um, certain uh, personality traits, anything, uh, it, it, it's still in our DNA. And after watching that series, there was just so many things that were reminders that were just so similar to um, our brothers and sisters across the pond in Africa, just so strikingly similar, like, you know, our talk, our fashion, our food, our swag. Um, it was wild. So I, 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 you know, I love, I love pieces like that. And as far as documentaries are concerned, I think it's something that's very easy to digest. And I think that every, uh, Every person who um, is a descendant of slavery, and I, I, I firmly believe that every black person here um, that was born in, for, for the most part, that was born in this country, uh, actually, let me rephrase that. I believe that most people in this country in the United States are descendants of slavery if they're black, point blank period. Um, and I feel that that's something that we all need to watch. Or if you do decide to watch it, you will receive some kind of, you know, useful information. You'll receive an aha moment. You'll be you'll be blessed by it. Right. Mm-hmm. Well, you heard it here first, peeps. You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome. Okay, get your lives together. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna check. I think I've seen that. Who 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 directed that? Uh, Spike Lee. I don't know. Spike Lee directed that. That sounds like something he would do. Sound like a Spike Lee joint. Let's see. Who directed High on the Hog? No, Roger Ross Williams. Roger Wall. Oh, Ross Williams. Yeah, Roger Ross Williams. And who produced High on the Hog? It was produced by 
uh, food-loving filmmakers Karis Jagger and Fabienne Toback. And the the commentator or the host of the show, his name, he's a food writer, chef, and a sommelier, Stephen Satterfield. He's He's got quite a presence. I rather enjoy him very much. So, yes. And there's a scene where him and one of the main commentators in the show, they're actually on the port of Uida, or uh, which is where our ancestors were taken from. And they have this uh, this memorial that's built, and it's pretty it's it's pretty intense because where this memorial is, there's the bodies of the dead people are the dead uh, Africans who died even before they got on the boat. They didn't say what they died of, whether it was, I'm guessing it was fear or fright, like they, or they or they were killed, but they were buried there. And so this monument is literally built on the bodies of those who didn't make it. So right. it's heavy. It's heavy, it's heavy, it's heavy, but I think it's, it's for the education that you get and the revelation that it gives, I think it's worth it. I think it's definitely a, uh, something you should watch once in your lifetime. Yeah. Definitely. Just like Roots, right? Oh, Lord, yes. I can only <laughs> watch that once. Jesus. Roots was like the one thing you could watch like one time. And then you're like, okay. Like, you feel gutted inside and just... So many freaking emotions mm -hmm. that you can't even explain. And then, like, I I got to see that show. What was funny about it? Not a show, but it was a show. It was like a series that they had on PBS or something like that. Yeah, it was a like back in the day. Yeah. Yep. So it was a series that they kind of had on PBS, and. Hold on, I'm trying to do this leaf. <laughs> Gotta be quiet for the leaf. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Um, let's see. So yeah, it was like this this series that they did on PBS, I think it was. Or maybe it wasn't PBS. I don't know oh, if that was was right. that PBS it was back in the day? It was PBS. It was PBS, yeah. It was some and that was deep for PBS. That's deep because PBS is more like, you know, educational, even though that's an educational show, but it was a controversial show all at the same time, nonetheless, right? Yeah, and they got a lot of pushback for, you know, having a documentary like that or a show or a movie like that because it was a four part mm -hmm. series, I think. They did, but it was, they were also praised for it for, you know, at that time. Because nobody wanted to talk about that. Yeah, I mean, that was way ahead of its time. Mm -hmm. Nobody was talking about that. And especially the guy that did it. Oh, gosh. Um, the one from Reading Rainbow. Uh, LeVar Burton? I don't know. What is his name? Yeah, that's his name, LeVar Burton. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So him... Him doing that, that was like so, like, you know, that was like so weird and kind of odd for everybody and think involved for real. Well, I think that LeVar Burton had his only, the only thing that you could really connect him to was reading Rainbow. And he's a, he's a thespian actor. He's no joke. And, you know, just to see him step out of that whole rain, reading rain, Rainbow, you know, uh, visual, I think, was really, really awesome and really needed. Like, he's a well rounded actor, right? And personally, I love Jordy in Star Trek, so just saying, <laughs> I loved him as Jordy. I got so involved in us painting, I totally forgot to take pictures. I was like. I need to take pictures to put on Pinterest because I really need to get back into the groove of 
I need to start building out the Pinterest, I feel. I thought you had one. I do, but I'll never post on it. Oh. Well, come on, chop chop. <laughs> exactly. I usually just pin other stuff, like things I find inspirational type mm -hmm. of thing. You know what I mean? But I rarely kind of whatever, you know? <clears throat> right, right, right. Hurry up. Really kind of do the thing. Ma'am. Hmm? So come on, get your Pinterest page, ma'am. I know, right? Mm -hmm. I'm like, yeah, but anyway, yeah, that guy, um, he was on Star Trek after that, too. Yeah. He or was that before? On, he was on uh, Star Trek for a minute. Star Trek The Next Generation. Yeah, but was that before he did that or after? Oh, that was way before. He was in his like early 20s when he did Roots. Yeah, that's true. That's so true. He was in his early 20s. This is so therapeutic, you guys. Just vibing out right now. This is like a whole mood. Mm -hmm. It's a whole mood, babe. <clears throat> So hopefully you guys are painting with us. If you happen to be, you can post it in the Discord. Join our Discord. Um, do, 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 do. I'm actually going to be doing the whole series for Spookytober with gouache. FYI. Nobody asks, but okay, we don't care, but it's, it's that's what it's going to do. <laughs> Okay, that's what's gonna happen there. Mm -hmm. We're doing our whole thing on Discord. Okay. So if you haven't got, if you haven't joined us on Discord yet, what are you waiting for? Um. Uh, um. Bum, bum, bum. um yeah, I think we're probably going to wrap it up in a minute, you guys. We've, we've been having so much fun. You know, time flies when you're having fun, you guys. We're probably going to wrap it up in the next 10, 15 minutes. Oh, wow. Okay. Or maybe, yeah, I don't know. It depends. I want to, um, I feel like I have so much to do, so much layering. And I get like so involved, and I'm like, oh my god. It looks beautiful. Thank you. Yours looks great too. That came together. Thank you. Wait, what are you using? You're using I'm markers, using right? Hold, please. I'm using Artist Loss Watercolor. Dual tip markers. I find they blend really, really well. You don't have to get like a separate blender pen. It just mm -hmm. really well together. And for me, um, who's not well versed in the art of watercolor, uh, I need markers that are going to blend for what I for the artwork that I like to do. Yeah, they work well. I think it was twenty nine bucks for a set of 24. No, I'm sorry, not 20. Oh my God, so that's, wait, where your uh, water at? You got I water? Got 20, 20 bucks, 20 bucks for a set of 24. Um, and I got it at Michael's. You got water over there? I didn't even no, see you have water. I don't, These, no, the pens are watercolor. So you don't need water? I don't need water. Hmm. Huh. I thought they would have gave you like a blender pen or something. It doesn't need a blender pen. Hmm. That's crazy because I have watercolor pencils. But those need a pen. Don't, you have to have water with those, right? Yeah, you got to have water with those. These, you don't need water. <clears throat> you need your pans and that's it. 
Yeah, definitely. You guys join us over in Discord. All the traceables that we're doing for Spooky Tober is going to be only available on the Discord, and we're trying to build it out, build a whole little private community of people that love art and The Sims, and just all sorts of positive vibes going on in that um, particular area. Yes. Links in the bio. Links in the bio. Links in the description. <laughs> oh my god! I mean, I mean, um, Instagram mode. Links in the bio. I say Get your life together. together after a while. Yeah, they do. I'm like, just, just go in the bio. I can't. <laughs> hmm. You'll find it eventually. Just go in the bio. It's fine. Exactly. Just, 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 go. just do that. Just go. It's okay. Mm-hmm. Na, 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 na. Um. So yeah, yeah. That was a that was a deep. Like I said, that was a really deep. Um. Hmm. That was a deep situation. Ship right there. What? Um. Roots. Oh Lord. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> and then after that, that's when they came out with uh what was that show called? Damn. It was a show that followed it up. Um Shaka Zulu. That wasn't a, that was another movie. There was actually two movies about Shaka. Was that sh- no? Was that a show or a movie? That was a movie. Really? Yeah. Hmm. I'm about to send you back to remedial classes. <laughs> on African movies and documentaries and miniseries, ma'am. You know, that was so long ago. I was like, when did that come out? I was like four or Girl, five what? when they came out. I know I was an itty bitty thing when I saw that. And it was like, my grandmother was like, Come on, Gucci. Oh, you guys, she that's she, Gucci. She used to call me Gucci. I love it. That's the South Carolina in her, whatever, North Carolina in her. She was like, come on, Gucci. Let's go. I wonder why. I'm like, no, her. Grandma, I don't want to watch that. <laughs> you know, you a kid, you're like, I don't want to watch that. Right. No, not even knowing what the heck, why you need to watch Exactly. That. That looks so pretty. It does look pretty. I love a good rose, boy. Thank you. I love a good rose. I'm slowly building up these layers over here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so that was something she was like trying to force her sis to look at, and I was like, "No, ma'am." Yes, yeah, so I was far- like, "Please," I was like, "Please, I don't want to watch." <laughs> I just want to go play. Exactly, I just want to go play. That's it. Please don't make me watch it. <laughs> and then I was like, "What happened to his leg? Oh, Why?" <laughs> I was like, oh my god! I was like, I, I need a break, Grandma. <laughs> she was like, no, Gigi. She was like, don't turn away. Look at it. I was like, uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! Oh my god! I'm telling you. Kind of like everybody's southern grandmother, the great mother from beyond. Don't turn away. Look at it, embrace it. I was like, no, ma'am. No, oh, man. I was trying to mean him. They had the nerve to be what five hours, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight parts. I was like, oh, hell to the no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. 
the funny thing about it. The funny thing about it is, is I was like, okay, cool, 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 cool. Okay, but then even though I was complaining about it, I wasn't feeling like the vibes. <laughs> I wasn't feeling like those like psychotic whatever vibes that was going on. But in the end, I remember that so vividly and it affected how I you know how I see the world. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean <laughs> Okay, Grand, you proved your point. Goodbye. Well, she knew that that was her. That's how we pass on oral history. Now right. we're 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 people who are orators. We pass on that history through through stories, through spoken word, through speech, and that's all right. we had. That's mm -hmm. all we had. So we we had to say, "Don't turn away. You got to see this. Even if you don't understand it, it's going to go ahead and serve a purpose in the future." Exactly. You know, so it's hard. But, you know, I believe that we have a duty as black men and women to continue that kind of um, orating where we have to pass on those stor stories orally. I mean, I think everybody should watch that. Even like 12 Years a Slave wasn't as deep as Roots, man. I'm bad. I still haven't watched 12 Years a Slave. I just want to like, a blubbering baby and just like, why? Exactly. <laughs> what? So, I, <laughs> I need to, though. I mean, and the great thing about it is that, you know, the ancestors would say to us, look at y'all now, right? Right. All their sacrifices were not in vain in the end. You know, it took a long time coming, but we here. Started at the bottom, now we here. That's right. <laughs> exactly. Started at the Started bottom, at the now bottom we here. Started at the whole team here. Started at the bottom, now we here. Exactly. Started at the bottom, now we here. So now you can't tell us shit. Nope. Like, pick your cotton where? How about yeah. you and pick my fist out your face? Exactly. <laughs> How about that? Stop. But you know what? I feel like every, you know, I feel like it's a rite of passage that every black and brown child should watch Roots. I think even white children should watch it. Yeah. I think it should be uh, something that's part of the curriculum in all schools for real. For you to be wa forced to watch <laughs> forced to watch Roots. But here, because comes that, here comes that discussion, that bogus discussion of criti quote critical race theory unquote and you know we got all these Mad M A D D moms talking about they're teaching critical race theory to our students in school, and we're not because I agree with you. It should be taught because it's a part of American history. It should be mandatory, like we had to read that bogus book, The Jungle. Um, oh my like, god, seventh grade, eighth grade about you know the horrors that happened here in the Chicagoland area. Um, and that should be mandatory too, I think, but it should also be mandatory to openly really discuss not only uh, roots, but also the journey of African-Americans here and also what Africans were doing here on the coast uh, and in the Americas, even before they were slaves. Because nobody talks about how we had very prosperous moors, um, you know, charting maps and uh, being hired as guides to lead people like Columbus to the Americas or how they were collaborating with native pe indigenous people here in the United States or in the now United States um, or in Europe or in Spain. Um, insert whatever here because Africans had a very prominent history before the American slave trade and the European slave trade. And we don't talk about that. We don't talk about that at all. And we don't so, talk about that at all. We get this. You know, they when I was going to school, when we was going to school, I don't know about your school, but they were still teaching that Christopher Columbus crap. Oh, yeah. 
the in Nina Nasina, the beat of the beat of that's very recent. The, the Santa yeah. Maria, the Nina, the Nina, they was teaching all of that trash, indoctrinating our brains. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We were still doing, um, <laughs> you know, the Pledge of Allegiance and all of that stuff. Now, um, you know, a lot of those things. They're not even teaching that stuff in school anymore, which is great. They like they like silently kind of slid it underneath the carpet and they're not teaching it anymore. Um, but at the same time, has it really gone away? No. No. What are we replacing? Because with? right. And it's just very recent that they stopped doing that. It's really And that's ridiculous. I think it's like only been the past five, six years. They started doing that in the school systems. It's been one week since you looked at me. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Sorry, I had to do it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm trying to figure out. I'm trying to really pinpoint when it was. Because, you know, I have school age children, but when my daughter was going to school, I think they, they did it. They stopped doing it about 10 years ago, 15 years ago. That's what I want to say, because she's 23. Okay. And when she was going to school at 14, 12 and all that stuff, she wasn't learning none of that stuff, especially in New York. Now, I don't know. Each state is different. The further south you go, the more they try to indoctrinate you with the nonsense. But in the East Coast, homie, don't play that. Okay? We don't want to see no Columbus Day, Nina Nacina, and Santa Maria. We don't want to see it anymore. Okay? Even when I was going to school, they were still beating you. You know that, right? Yeah. You can still get beat. <laughs> There was still corporal punishment, people. It was still oh. Now the kid's like, what? You trying to beat me? You know? Mm-hmm. I'll find yeah. one on you if you touch me. Go ahead. Exactly. Call 911. Just do it. I exactly. Care. I'll beat your ass before they get here. And then I'll beat, their, beat your ass when they get here. <laughs> but you know a part of me was thinking about and we're going to get really philosophical you guys we just kind of politicking or whatever we don't take anything too serious but at the same time that's our business that's how we feel right so I was kind of thinking like devil, devil's advocate or whatever I'm like okay where do we learn the, the behavior of like beating right if you really think about it, I feel like a lot of that stuff is rooted in slavery. Oh, yeah. Us beating. Um, the way we discipline is really rooted in slavery. And I also... And how we were treated. There's a survival tactic to that. Like, if, if you don't submit to me telling you to stop doing whatever it is you need to do, you're going to come across somebody else who will kill you for what you're doing. So... Right, I'm right. Teach you now, so you understand that this is a mercy, and that it doesn't, you know, death doesn't come by somebody else. So I, that's, right. that's my take on the whole slavery thing. I think it was a necessity. I think that there's that's another reason that contributes to PTSD of black men and women and children in America. Because again, I think that that's a generational thing that's been passed down to us. Um, but I wholeheartedly agree with what you just said completely. Exactly. Exactly. I'm going to put this last little coat on there, and that's going to be it, because we're getting into the two-hour mark, and I think we should wrap it up so people are not like, oh, my God. Like, really? <laughs> <laughs> like, what's happening? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hmm. I'm just putting some little dew drops on my roses now. 
And I got these really cool paint pens. After we had our discuss, after you like you got got me hip on uh, Posca pens. I yeah. Found these little, I found these little slick skinny ones. For like. Oh, how are they? They're really nice. So I actually use these in my artwork and my acrylic paintings, and I use them on my T-shirts too for like fine detail work. Yeah. And they work. Wow. Really well. That's beautiful. I love it. Yeah. I love it. I love it. I love it. Exactly. I love it. I love it. Okay, I'm done now. <laughs> oh man, it's funny. <laughs> oh God, I cannot. I cannot. I cannot. You're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, indeed. So I hope you guys are enjoying. You are you have enjoyed our beautiful little uh, sketchbook session. Uh, this is gonna be our last sketchbook. Um, what is it? Sundays? <laughs> I don't even know what the day is. What what's what's today? Who knows? I don't know. Sunday. But today's gonna be our. <laughs> Today's going to be our last Sketchbook Sundays for a while, quite a while, you guys, because our big event for Spookytober, 10 Days of Spookytober, is coming up. It's going to be jam freaking packed. Lots of fun. Basically, where I'm going to give you 10 videos of my favorite, and I'm going to recreate a painting from a screen cap that I take from my favorite 1990s horror movies. It's going to be dope. It's going to be super, super fun. Um, I'm excited about it. I hope you guys are excited about it. It's an exciting thing. All right. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? Um, don't forget to join us on Discord. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so, so much for hanging out with us. And <laughs> um, be where's your thing at? Hold on, hold on. Comment below and shout out to our co hosts Vanessa and my mod, the illustrious mod of our creative girl crew over on Discord and on Facebook. You are an absolute superstar for always showing up and showing out for me. That I appreciate you guys. I hope you're enjoying this. I hope you guys are really, really enjoying the ride. Um, you can definitely just play us in the background as you kind of flow through your day and do your thing. Okay, there you go. Good. Pop it up. Pop it up. Yeah, so, yeah, you can go heavy. I was going to say thank you for letting me come on and hang out with you and sketch. Um, if you like to go ahead and follow up on what I'm doing, you can get at me on House of Harrison at on TikTok and also House of Harrison on Instagram. I love to have all the links you. in I the bio with you. <laughs> yes, <laughs> exactly. Yes, indeed, and all the things and. Uh, you know, you you can find me all over the place if you want to see exactly what I'm doing, including, you know, traceables and all the things. Definitely get on Discord or you can find me on Facebook or you can follow me on Instagram so you can keep up with all the things that I'm doing when you don't see me here on YouTube. Yes, indeed. It was a beautiful day in the neighborhood, you guys. That was it was super fun. I had wow. so much friggin' fun doing this. It released the endorphins. It got like all the stress off my back for real. But I was we was feeling kind of stressed in the beginning, right, V? Yeah. We, was feeling, we was feeling the stress. But now I'm okay. all happy and perfect and wonderful. Thank you. <laughs> exactly. And that's it. Let's say bye, V. Bye, V. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Bye, guys. And I will catch you guys on the next one. Next time you'll see us will be October the 1st. That's going when the first video is going to drop, 6 p.m. Eastern time. It's going to be going down. And that's it. I will catch you guys later. Be safe out there. Be good to each other. And peace. Bye.